Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of videos showing how to model this rover. Many of the features and tools used on this model are exclusive to the Platinum version of TurboCAD 2016. This video will go over creation of the tire tread. Starting with a blank drawing and the grid on, we will be creating a sine wave using the new Surface by Law tool. Once the Law Surface tool has been chosen, the Law Edit dialog will pop up. For now, go ahead and click OK and I will explain what's going on in just a minute. Now snap to grid to define the root point of the law surface. Tab into the inspector bar and enter 10 as the value for both Umax and Vmax. Now switch to an isometric view, select the law surface and open the selection info palette. In the selection info palette, expand the surface by law category. Notice how we have set up the space for the surface to be drawn. We have defined U as 0 to 10 in the X axis and V as 0 to 10 in the Y axis. The Z law, which is the sign of U, gives the surface its shape. Let's add some modifiers to the law to scale down the surface a bit. Change the Z law equation to sine of U multiplied by 4 divided by 4. This will tighten the oscillations of the wave and give us something to work with. Next, we will want to apply this law surface to the facet of a 3D solid. So first, we will need to create this solid. Select the box tool and draw a 10 by 10 by 1 box starting at the bottom left hand corner of the law surface. Now let's reposition the law surface. Select the law surface, then reposition the reference point by hovering over the yellow dot and tapping the D key on the keyboard. Now snap the reference point to the bottom left corner of the law surface. Now grab the law surface by the reference point and snap to the top corner of the box. Once the surface has been positioned correctly over the box, select the new tweak face tool. First, choose the top of the box as the face to be tweaked. Then, choose the law surface as the target for the tweak operation. Now the top facet of the box should have the same curvature as the law surface. Let's change to a draft render mode to better examine the object. Now how do we form this into tire tread? Well at some point we will need to rotate the wave and duplicate our efforts in the opposite direction. Select the rotated box tool and draw a box snapping to the midpoints of the part and give it a height of let's say 2 inches. Now perform a 3D intersect of both objects. Notice how the wave appears on the facet of our part. We now have half the tread. Let's create the other side using some of the new 3D options of the mirror tool. With the part selected, choose the mirror tool. Now select both mirror along face and try to create a single object from the local menu or inspector bar. Now select one of the facets of the part and we should now have a symmetrical object. Starting to look a lot more like a tire tread, eh? I know, I know, tires are round. So let's give this tread a good bending with the new bend to path tool. Use work plane by facet to select the facet on the long side of the part. Now draw a center radius arc from one end of the part to the other. Now change the work plane back to world. Next, select the bend to path tool. Choose the part, then specify the two points of access along its center. Enter 270 degrees as the start angle, then select the arc as the bend path. In the next video, we will go over how to create the hubs, but for now, turbo time is over. 